Hello guys, this is Deathler and welcome back to another Space Engineers video, a spotlight video of sorts. A few of you may recognise this ship in front of me. This is a weapon system I developed about a year ago along with my one of my Discord staff, Typhon. You can find a link to the Steam Workshop page in the description below. This is the Ravager Mark 1. The idea behind this system was to cause immense damage to an enemy ship with little to no cost whatsoever. This ship is broken up into three segments. So at the front here we have the decoy section. This section is deployed first ahead of the main projectiles so that all weapon systems aboard the enemy ship target this section. This means that the enemy pro our projectiles can get through the, the firing arcs of the enemy weapon systems and they can, if you target it correctly, disable an enemy ship. Now a few months ago the, well, it was about six months ago actually, the physics of the game changed a little bit, which means these missiles, well, these projectiles weren't actually decent. However, that has been rectified, so this weapon system is highly effective. The second part of the system is the delivery vehicle, which can be recovered because it has a jump drive mounted on in the rear. This system itself is fairly slow. I have fixed it in later versions, which we'll be covering in another video. The last section of this vehicle is the projectiles. As you can see, we have eight projectiles, three here, three here, one on top and one on bottom. These projectiles can cause enough damage. You go maybe four blocks into heavy armor. So if you've got a massive chunk of heavy armor, four block penetration without any issues. And if you're going against any ship built in survival, you're going to be able to hit them with no issue whatsoever. The only issue we have with this system is it is very slow to move. It also means that if your target is moving when you fire it, mo the, the chances are you're going to miss the target completely. A good thing about this system is everything can hit the target. Everything, it doesn't matter, even the decoy section. If the when enemy weapon systems are offline or not working correctly, this decoy section itself can cause immense damage. And if you've got these projectiles coming in to the rear, behind that, then yeah, it's got to, you know, kill that ship without any issues. I've set up all the groups, and here, this is the cockpit, it's nice and hidden. So, right here we have the d here, and the, 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 the projectiles or the slugs, along with a target and camera. Now, I'm going to put some, you know, instructions in the Steam Workshop page in the description. You must follow these instructions for this to work correctly. One little funny thing about this design, if you spin when you're firing the projectiles, they'll spread over a massive area. So if you've got like an, an enemy fleet that's tightly packed together, it'll do it'll work fairly nicely. So yeah, yeah, this ship is fairly, fairly decent. I've used this several times in the survival scenarios, and every time I've used it, it has been very effective. I have designed another version of this, but we'll be covering that in a future video. Alright guys, I've moved the missile out into the position we're going to use to fire this, well, do this test. I've switched the ship over to the pirates so they can control it, so the ship will fire at our missile as we approach. Now, as you can see, we can't currently see the ship due to the rendering bug within the game. So we're going to be using our targeting camera and we're going to be aiming roughly for the position of the, what do you call that, the beacon, yeah, beacon thing. Also, we're going to disable all of our gyroscopes because when we deploy our payload, it can get very, very sensitive. So we're going to disable those for now. All right. Now, remember, in the description of the Steam Workshop page for this missile, I'll put in the instructions you can use to fire this weapon. One thing we should note is the decoy section may actually make it through the enemy fire, which means it could impact the enemy ship. Through vigorous testing, this doesn't happen a lot. Maybe 5% of the time it gets through enemy weapons. But it would be nice to see that. Also, another thing to note, all three components of this missile may be used as a projectile. However, for the purposes of this test, we'll just be using the decoy section and the main projectiles. All right. As you can see, I've set up my hotbar with the camera and then two different mail spot groups. This will be important. Anyways, let's start off this attack run. First of all, we're going to disable our dampeners and then accelerate to maximum speed. I've also set up my spectator camera over there. 
to make it easier for, you know, video stuff. Now that we've made it to maximum speed, we're going to deploy the decoy section. We're then going to slow down, like so. And as you see, this is accelerating towards the enemy. Excellent. Let's speed back up. Deploy these projectiles. And then slow back down. Let's jump over to our spectator camera. And look at that. They're targeting the decoy section without any trouble. As you can see, the projectiles are coming into the rear. And both components made impact. And not only that, they proceeded to move through the ship. And look at that, we virtually cut the ship in half. This weapon is insanely powerful and I urge all of you to make use of this weapon design. I do have a new weapon design that improves upon this current design. I will be releasing that video in the next week or so. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video. I really enjoy making weapons in this game and I hope to make a hell of a lot more. Let me know in the comments what you think about this weapon design. Give me any tips or recommendations and I'll take them on board. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know by voting for both the options in the poll at the top right hand side of the screen. This video has been brought to you by Faz Fazingly, one of my Patreons. If you too would also like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash deathlyt and pledge as little as $1 a month to help me and the channel out. Thanks guys. Since you're already here, you should come and join our Discord. That is the number one way to get in contact with me and we've got a thriving little community over there and we'd be happy to have you. The link is both on screen right now and in the video description. I'd like to thank you all for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.